IKEA, the furniture company that got its start in Sweden, has set out to set a global standard when it comes to sustainability, making a multi-billion dollar bet that it's not just a good thing to do, it's good business too. Steve Howard, the company's chief sustainability officer, tackled the topic during a recent TED talk. Some things are certain, I think. We know we'll use electricity in 20 or 30 years' time. We know the sun will be shining somewhere, and the wind will still be blowing in 20 or 30 years' time. So why not make our energy out of the sun and the wind? And why not take control of it ourselves? So we're going 100% renewable. Uh, by 2020, we'll produce more renewable energy than the energy we consume as a business. For all of our stores, our own factories, our distribution centers, we've installed 300,000 solar panels so far. And we've got uh, 14 wind farms we own and operate in six countries. And we're not done yet. But uh, think of a solar panel. A solar panel pays for itself in seven or eight years. The electricity is free. Every time the sun comes out after that, the electricity is free. So this is a good thing for the CFO, not just the sustainability guy. Every business can do things like this. So we've gone from sustainability being a nice to do to a must do. It's still nice to do, but it's a must do. And uh, everybody can do something on this as an individual. Be a discerning consumer. Vote with your wallets. Search out the, the companies that are acting on this. Um, but also, there are other businesses already acting. You know, I, I mentioned renewable energy. You go to Google or Lego, they're going 100% renewable too, in the same way that we are. On having really good sustainability strategies, there are companies like Nike, Patagonia, Timberland, Marks and Spencers. But I don't think any of those businesses would say they're perfect, we certainly wouldn't, we'll make mistakes going forwards. But it's about setting a clear direction, being transparent, having a dialogue with the right partners, and choosing to lead on the issues that really count. So, if you're a business leader, if you're not already weaving sustainability right into the heart of your business model, I'd urge you to do so. And together, we can help create a sustainable world. And if we get it right, we can make sustainability affordable for the many people, not a luxury for the few. Thank you. That's Steve Howard, the Chief Sustainability Officer for IKEA. Jennifer Stockdale is the local marketing specialist in charge of the sustainability initiatives at the IKEA store in Robinson Township near Pittsburgh. Welcome. Good to have you here. Oh, thanks for having me. How does this translate? What exactly do you work on? What's been done at the store level here, here in our region to sort of advance this vision of what sustainability means at a company like IKEA? Well, first of all, we have our challenges here at the Pittsburgh store. Our store is one of the oldest stores in the country. Country. This year is going to be our 25th anniversary. I prefer to think of it as one of the first IKEA stores in the United <laughs> exactly. States, which happened to be here in our region. But understood, <laughs> 25 years ago, nobody was thinking about anything. Absolutely, of this. in 1989 when we opened, no, nobody was thinking about it. So our store really wasn't built with that in mind. So we've kind of had to backtrack and kind of retrofit everything. We're also, believe it or not, one of the smallest IKEA stores in the country. It's really hard for people to believe because it's such a big store, but we are really constrained for space. So when we're trying to do our recycling efforts, we have to fit them all into this teeny tiny area. Yeah. But like, uh, like Steve Howard mentioned in his talk, I don't know if they were able to play the whole thing or not, but he said that the important thing for businesses is that you have to buy into sustainability 100%. You can't just say, oh, we want to be 80% sustainable because if you do that, everything else is going to find a way of falling into that 20%. So we realize that maybe we can't solve all of our problems right now, but we, we, pick, we pick away at them one at a time uh, just to try to get them all solved. A couple of examples of things that have really made a difference, you think, here at the, yeah. Here at the local level. Yeah, one of the really big things that we've been doing is we installed a large solar array on our roof. Now, IKEA's always had solar panels on the roof, but before they were a very small amount and they just fed back into the energy grid um, and we were able to purchase that power back at a discount. But we made the investment to line the entire roof with solar panels. So those panels are now generating about 30% of our power, which you would think, oh, 30%, well, that's, that's not bad, but that's enough 
to power 78 houses. So it's a pretty large amount of power when you think about how big our building is and how much power it uses. Another big initiative that we, we've taken, uh, and this is a worldwide initiative, that we are going palletless. So instead of using large wooden pallets, we're using really thin um, cardboard pallets that are fully recyclable. And what this does is it allows us, that combined with uh, high density cube trucks, allows us to fit more in every shipment. And also those uh, paper pallets are fully recyclable. So we're able to take, just for our Pittsburgh store, about 150 trucks a year off of the road. And if you multiply that out to the entire country, you're looking at around 5,800 trucks just by switching out the kind of pallet that we use. Pretty amazing. Shows how creative you can be. I know if you go to the store, you see a lot of this illustrated in different ways so people can go and really experience it at Ikea in Pittsburgh. Exciting stuff. Jennifer Stockdale, thanks so much for sharing a little bit about what you're up to. Thank you. Next up, keeping foam packaging material out of landfills and the role two of our region's companies are playing to make it happen. Stay with us.